I'm Holly Anderson, and I live here in New York. I'm a poet. <laughs> I'm a lyricist. Um, mom and bottle wa well, no, no more bottle washing. Um, I'm a poet. I guess that's, that's the fallback. I guess, you know, that's what I always, in the end, am a poet. Micah was originally White Story, and I had posted that anonymously around town. But of course, the Burr men knew who I was because we had become friends already, and I had been doing graphics, and, you know, designing their packaging. So when you say posted around town, how did your work? Uh, I would do like 11, 17 offset uh, prints, and I would wheat paste them. And then I'd, when I moved to New York, I would sell uh, the sheets, these one sheets. And that was kind of how I made my daily um, wage when I first got to town. So these are what I sold on the street when I first got to New York in 1981. Obviously, I wasn't thinking when I started this series that people were going to be thinking about how to read again. I was just thinking, I want to just, you know, mess with syntax and just have a, a system that I can plug language into. So I was doing both, you know, graphic, these visible language pieces, um, still doing a lot of drawing, um, but more and more language was kind of taking over the page. And so uh, original, I mean, I met Martin first of all, and then Martin kind of brought me to the band and said, well, you know, this woman's doing, or this girl is doing <laughs> some kind of great visual work. And, uh, you know, shortly thereafter, they started working, I guess, on signals. So I got involved with so that. Like 79-ish? 70, well, we met, actually, no, because I think it was, yeah, we yes. met late 80 because uh, Signals, I think, came out in 81. I mean, that's like 100 years ago, but yeah. So here is really absolutely the song being born. I mean, these are my original grids, and then here are Clint's notes on how he's going to change this and how he's going to structure this into song. Here it is. I was shocked and delighted that he had kept these notes. Well, the thing with verses is, I mean, we were really talking about, you know, dualities and, you know, nature as we would view it here, this kind of benign, you know, as opposed to this, you know, in this civilized, you know, morning glory. I mean, there's nothing more suburban than morning glories in a chain link fence. And then, you know, this wild ass freedom, which were these walls. I mean, and this published October 81, the month I hit New York. This issue of um, the New York Rocker that had Black Story and White Story, and White Story is the original Micah, was in the Rocker, and it was like, oh my God, now I've really made it. I'm not only living in New York, I'm published in the New York Rocker. I was so excited. White Story is really, I guess, uh, a kind of an anthem to being disconnected and feeling um, that perhaps you should be hospitalized, but of course you're not. And, you know, it's interesting that um, kids have connected with those sentiments for so many years now. You know, I mean, we all feel, I think, sometimes like we really just ought to stay in our pajamas. And uh, maybe that's the best way to live. Clint obviously responded to that song. Uh, there was a lot of hard living and the aftermath um, in that story. I mean, for both of us. Um, so uh, it's, and I think that that's why people have identified, I mean, for so long. And it has become some kind of post-punk anthem. When Burma reformed and uh, we were in London at the garage and um, Micah started and and the room was packed, and this girl standing next to me put her hands over her face and started weeping, and she cried all the way through the song, and then took her hands away at the end of the song and just had this kind of radiant look on her face, and it was like, wow. I mean, <laughs> it was very, very potent. I'm always proud to be part of that song. Um, I think that Bob Weston now, who's Micah's got maybe more loops in it than some other Burma tracks. And I think that Bob has absolutely made me 
I mean, I no longer miss Martin. Bob is really doing Martin's job great justice and has brought, you know, other wonderful intelligence. Yeah, M uh, Micah, Micah still works for me. I mean, I'm still, I'm still um, taken. By, I mean, but, uh, you know, uh, the Burma catalog works for me. I mean, those songs from those first two records have aged really, really well.